I need to tidy up in here. Look at the flipping mess of it. Oh, does anyone know what this is? Look <laughs> at I need to review this at some point. Someone sent me one of these. A bucket buddy. I don't think I can fit a full bag of finish in it. Probably half a bag. Probably be better if it was bigger. This is going to be interesting. I also got some of these as well. Just look at the length for that thing. It's, this is for cutting plasterboard. You use that, which is about three meters long. Is it three meters? Give us a second. Where's my tape measure? Forget it. It's gone. I don't know. It looks about three meters anyway. Someone's raided me penny jar. This is what happens. My missus just takes over. This is my workshop and they're moving in. Ah, this is going to come in handy. I'm going to Switzerland. I'm taking a pink suitcase. We're going to work in Switzerland. We're going to go and plaster some ceilings next weekend. I'm going to Switzerland to plaster ceilings next weekend with a pink suitcase. <laughs> This little fella's one tomorrow. One. It's a year already, isn't it, son? You're looking forward to your big birthday tomorrow? Big one. Say dada. Say dada. <gasps> dada. Where's his little sailor hat? He hasn't got one. Woo! I swear to you, it's Groundhog Day. I feel like I'm trapped in the Truman Show. Every single day, all I'm doing is the same thing. Just K-Ren, K-Ren. Well, I'm not even k ren today. I'm using Weber, but same principles. <sighs> Somebody help. Give that, I'll give that five minutes. This is what I'm doing today. We've just got to put this on. This, this, um, this side. Just the other back side of it. Now, plastic beads that I told you, it's like Groundhog Day. It's all I'm doing is rendering. Look at this as well, come here. We were lazy when we were beading up. Rather than measuring these beads millimetre perfect, I just fly them over. Zoom in so they can see that, okay? So we just fly them over like that, and then take your grinder. And that's it, they meet up perfect. So, now we're gonna start laying this on. This is a um, weather chalk. It's quite sticky, you know. When you're used to using K-Ren and you use this, this is what the customers wanted. But it's uh, it's 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 very sticky. Must admit. You follow me? Yeah. Welcome to the life of Brian. Definitely prefer K Ren. I definitely like K Ren as a product over this Weber. But I do think that this Weber is a good product. It's um, it's very sticky, which is you know great for the job, but uh, crap for putting on. You see where I'm going there. I mean, it's like anything, I suppose. You get used to using it, don't you? It's just I'm used to just using a different product. That's all there is, I suppose. So, 
No offence if the boss of Weber is watching me video. <laughs> Multi-millionaire watching me use his stuff, yeah. Like that's gonna happen. But um, it's all right, I suppose. Sam's got to skip outside this, so if we're, if we're fast today, getting this scraped, we can get all our rubbish in this, yeah? Shames me having to get one of it. Do anyone recognise that car? My missus has only turned up on the job, and now she's round the back, having tea and toast with the customers whilst we're out here working. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what. She makes me laugh, my missus. She's like flipping Lady Penelope. <sighs> Thanks, Mr. Scaffolder. Yeah. Am I sweating? <laughs> Not even working hard. Um, look, I've got a mystery guest. His job got cancelled today. Something's up with a customer. He had to go to hospital or something, so he's at a loose end. So he just turns up to work with me for free. That's, that's how much of a nice guy I am. People just turn up to work for me for free just because they want to be around me. Look, look at his, his face here. More like he's feeding me. <laughs> he's just come for the lunchtime grub. What Sam's doing is, all this is on now and it's starting to come a bit. So before it goes off, we go all over it and give it a good hard trail. And that way we're looking for any imperfections in the air pockets. Anything like we find them by doing this, going all over it with a hard trail. We usually we do it with a derby. But, look, there's, there's not, can't get me Derby in there, and it's not worth having it for there, so, just a trial over. I'll tell you the crazy thing, we've come to um, Travis Perkins in, <laughs> no, Birkin had, um, the job we're doing, the customer wanted Weber chalk, so we've used what we needed, and there was six bags over, now it's unheard of, usually, if there's anything left over, that's it, you're stuck with it, but Travis Perkins in Birkin had, they knew I'd keep good care of it, and it's not damaged, it's not wet, and they've took it back, so fair play to them. Whilst that render goes off, we've just got to kill time, so... <sighs> May as well go for something to eat, mightn't we? Um, sit around for a couple of hours whilst it picks up. This, see these guys? You park here, and you're meant to go and put your registration in when you go inside, but loads of times the machine's broke, so, uh, so I end up <coughs> not being able to put it in. And then they write to you, and they start telling you you've got a parking fine and this and that. Well, I'll tell you what happens with these, right? I don't respond to them. And they send you final warnings, and they tell you the price has gone through the roof and all that. I must have had now 60 plus final warnings of them. <laughs> They're going to take me to court. They've sent me the same letter about 60 times. Now, ultimately, all that ever happens is if you do go to court, all I have to do is show my bank statement to prove that I was actually in the premises and it's squished. But it's just interesting, isn't it? How many people do you reckon pay Euro car parks? Flipping, not me. <laughs> that said, if the, uh, if the council charge you, you have to pay that. Don't try and wriggle out of that one. <laughs> just pay the council. Come oh, on. Oh. Come round here. Typical. Everywhere else. Even there. Look, even there. Millimetres. But there. There's always one. Should we get the grinder and just cut it off? <laughs> He'd love us, wouldn't he? <laughs> yeah, not yet.
Se, dawn.